The video you're about to see is a sneak peek from one of our exclusive web series we are developing on our app. This app will be available soon on Roku Smart TVs and our website. Please click the link below to be notified when it's released. Everybody, I'm Master Kelly. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Master Kelly, and over the next six weeks, I'm going to show you guys how to go from no experience to martial arts to getting your very first white belt. Okay, now, so if you've never done martial arts before or it's been a really long time, you guys have come to the right place. Now, before we start today's video, we're going to go over some rules. Okay, rule number one make sure when you guys are following the lessons, Make sure you're not gonna bump anybody or anything around you. So I want you guys to do right now, make sure you do this with your hands. Make sure you're not gonna be hitting anything or anyone around you, okay? So that's rule number one. Rule number two, make sure you guys have water near you, okay? Sometimes we're do when we're doing the videos, we're doing some exercises, and you guys are gonna need some water. So instead of having your water far away, just have a water bottle or a cup near you, so that way whenever you guys need water, you can take a quick sip and come back into the lesson, okay? Now rule number three, Every time I ask you guys a question or I ask you guys to respond, you're going to say, yes, sir. So everyone try it with me. Everyone say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't believe you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay, just like that. Now, very last rule. All the punches, the kicks, the elbows, the knees, the awesome stuff that we're going to show you guys, you got to make sure you only use it for self-defense. Okay, so self-defense means if someone's trying to hurt you or someone's trying to hurt your family, then you use the punches and kicks. We never use them for attack. Does that make sense? You guys say yes, sir? Yes, sir! Awesome. All right, are you guys ready to start today's lesson? Yes, sir! Awesome. All right, so before we start, I'd like you guys to meet my friend, Dojo. Come here, Dojo. Awesome. Dojo, can you say hi? Hi, everybody. Awesome. Now, Dojo's an orange belt, so that means he's been with me for about three years. And now, Dojo, every once in a while, you guys are going to see him. He's going to be doing some exercises with you guys. Sometimes he likes to tell funny jokes, okay? So in the meantime, Dojo's going to go back to his monkey friends over there. Awesome. All right. Now, here's what we're going to start today with. We're going to start with a counting in Korean. So we're going to do jumping jacks. And we're going to count in Korean. But let's go over the numbers first, okay? So Evan or P after me. Everyone say Hana. Everyone say Dur. Set. Net. Toss it. Okay, so we're gonna count to five in Korean. We're gonna do jumping jacks. I want you guys to follow with me, okay? So everyone say, Hana, do it, set, net, toss it. Awesome job, you guys. All right, now we're gonna start swinging your arms just like this. Everyone say, Hana, do it, set, net, toss it. Good, let's go the other way now. Hana, do it, set, net, Toss it. Awesome. Okay, now the next stretch to warm up. We're going to have our feet apart like this. Hands on the knees. We're going to turn our shoulders this way. Everyone say, Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good job, you guys. Good counting. Go to the other side. Everyone say, Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good job. All right, now arms crossed. Head down to the middle. Good. Everyone say, Hana. Do it. Set. Net. Toss it. Good job, you guys. Awesome. All right, shake your hands, shake your legs a little bit. All right, everyone face your turn it. Can ya? Awesome. Okay. So the very first thing, when we bow, okay, when I say chariyat, that means attention. When I say can ya, that means bow. When we bow, we look at our heart. Okay. Now, when we look at our heart, okay, we're making a promise to be nice. Can everyone promise to be nice? Awesome, perfect. All right, so here's what we're going to start with today. We're going to practice some punches. When I say fighting stance, I want everyone to take your right leg back, both hands up like this. Ready? Fighting stance. Awesome, good. All right, everyone back in. Chut it. Good. Fighting stance. Awesome, good job. Chut it. Fighting stance. Awesome, good. Now make sure you have one foot back, one foot in front. We're going to practice some punches. When I say jab, everyone take your left hand and hold it like this. And as you punch, I want you guys to twist your body. Keep the right hand on the face. Ready? Everyone show me. Jab. Good. Nice. Now, when I say cross, we're going to use the right hand. Everyone say cross. Good. If you have the hand on the face, you look awesome. Ready? Go. Jab. Good. Right hand. Cross. Good job, you guys. Jab. Good. Cross. Awesome work. Jab. Good. Cross. Good. One more. Jab. Good. Cross. 
Awesome, good job, you guys can punch his high fives. Awesome, good work. Okay, now here's what you're gonna do next. This time, we're gonna practice a jab, a cross, and then we're gonna do a hook punch. When we do a hook punch, we're gonna take this foot and we're going to twist. Okay, so I want you guys to watch. We're gonna zoom the camera down to my feet. When you guys throw a hook punch, this foot in front is going to turn like that. Does that make sense? Awesome, you guys coming eyes back up here now. So this time, we're gonna go jab, cross, hook punch. Make sense? Awesome, let's try that together. Everyone, go jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job you guys again. Go jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job you guys again. Go jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job, one more time. Go jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job you guys, high fives. Awesome, all right, we're gonna play a little game today with Dojo. Come here, Dojo. Awesome, all right, so here's what we're gonna practice, okay? Dojo is gonna throw up a rock in the air. Now what we have to do is that when we're hitting the rock, we're gonna throw a jab at the first one, the second one that comes up, we're gonna throw a cross, and then the third one that comes up, we're gonna throw a hook and we're gonna smash through the rocks together. Can you guys do that with me? Yes, sir? Ah, uh, some of you guys are kind of sleepy. These guys are louder. You guys, yes, sir? Awesome, all right, Dojo, get ready to toss the rocks. All right, you guys, repeat after me. Everyone say jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job, you guys. Again, together, there you go. Jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job, you guys. Again, two more times. Jab, cross, hook. Awesome, good job. One more, ready? Go jab, cross, hook. Awesome, very good job, you guys. High five, Dojo. High five, kids. Awesome, good job. Okay, now next thing we're gonna practice, we're gonna practice a kick today. We're gonna practice, everyone say, front kick. Awesome, front kick, okay. Now, when you guys do a front kick, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna bend our knee up like this, and we're going to point our toe, okay? See, I'm pointing my toe. You don't want a front kick like this. If you do that, and you actually kick something, Ow, that's going to hurt your toes. You gotta make sure you use the top part. Does that make sense? Awesome, so here's what we're gonna practice. Hands up like this. We're gonna practice our front kick. We're gonna, everyone, let's do it slowly. Bend your knee like this. Good, we're gonna bend before and after we kick. Good, just like that, okay? Let's practice that together. Everyone pick the knee up. Front kick. Good, nice. Now make sure your leg isn't straight like this, okay? That's a different kick, that's called an axe kick. Front kick, we bend our knee like this and we snap it out and back. Okay, let's try that together, ready? Everyone go, front kick. Good, good job you guys, front kick. Good, front kick. Good, front kick. Good, front kick. Good, awesome, now I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. Let's see if you can kick really high. Okay, try to kick the highest, ready? Front kick. Good, nice, good job, front kick. Good, front kick. Awesome, one more, front kick. Awesome, good, all right, now let's use the other leg this time. Ready? Going about low first, just to start. Front kick. Good, good job, you guys, front kick. Good, front kick. Good, front kick. Awesome, now let's see if we can go really high. Ready? Front kick. Good, good job, you guys, front kick. Good, two more times, front kick. One more, front kick. Awesome, good work, you guys, high fives. Awesome, awesome work, okay. Now here's what we're gonna do next, okay? I'm gonna try yet. Good, can you? Awesome, okay, now we're gonna practice something called a horse stance. I'm gonna say horse stance. Awesome, okay, so horse stance, here's what it looks like. We're gonna have our feet apart just like this, and we're gonna bend both knees. Now we're gonna zoom the camera down so you guys can see my feet. When you hold the horse stance, we're gonna make sure both toes are facing forward, not to the side. Both toes are forward. When we bend our knees, our hips are sinking down, both hands tight to the rib cage, back straight. Does that make sense? Awesome, now from this position, we're gonna come back up to ready position. So we're gonna come up. Good, all right, when I say horse stance, we're gonna jump into that perfect position. Ready, horse stance. Nice, good, back. Good, horse stance. Good, back. Good, horse stance. Good, back. Good, horse stance. Good, back. One more time, horse stance. Awesome, good job, you guys. Let's, oh, oh no. Uh-oh, 
I think Dojo and his friends are throwing tennis balls at us. Okay, well, we're gonna play a little game with Dojo's friends. They're gonna be throwing tennis balls left and right. What we have to do is we gotta squat down. We gotta dodge the tennis balls before coming back up. Does that make sense? Can you guys say yes, sir? Awesome, all right, ready. We're gonna practice dodging the tennis balls. Ready, and everyone, duck. Good, and back. Good, ready, and duck. And back. Awesome, good job, you guys. Duck. And back. Good, good job, ready, duck. And back. Awesome, good job, you guys. Duck. And back. Good, good, two more, duck. And back. Good, one more, duck. And back. Awesome job, you guys. Have fives. Awesome, awesome. Okay, now we did some punches, we did some kicks, we did some stances. Now we're gonna do some exercises, okay? So for the next part of the video, okay, we're gonna do something called, we're gonna do push-ups, we're gonna do squats, and we're going to do lunges, okay? So let me show you what those look like first. So push-ups, you're gonna have your hands like this, and camera, you guys can go down a little bit so you can see me here. You're gonna have your hands on the ground like this, both feet back. When you go down today, I want you guys to go all the way down, slap the ground, Come all the way up, okay? Don't do these. Okay, that's not a bush up. I don't know what that is. Is someone on my back? Who's on my back right now? Dojo, what are you doing? Get off. Dojo, Dojo, don't do that. All right, we're gonna go down. Good, and up, like this, okay? Now, every time you go down and up, I want you to breathe. Every time. So when you go down and up, breathe. So that's gonna be the first exercise. The second is gonna be a squat, okay? All right, so when you guys are doing squats, we're gonna bend down and come up like this, okay? Now, when you bend down, I want you to pretend like you're sitting in a chair, okay? Like you're sitting in a chair, keep your elbows here, and then come straight back up. Now, the last exercise is gonna be a lunge. So you're gonna take one knee, and you're gonna bend almost touching the ground, coming up. Then you're gonna do the other side, bending almost touching the ground, coming up on both sides. Does that make sense? Awesome, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna set a timer. You're gonna do, do push-ups first, then squats and lunges, each for 30 seconds. Once you do them for 30 seconds, you're gonna get 15 seconds of rest, then you're gonna do it again, and then another 15 seconds, and then we're finished with the exercises. Does that make sense? So push-ups, squats, lunges, 30 seconds each, 15 second rest, 30 seconds each again, 15 second rest, and then a final 30 seconds each. Okay, and then after that, you guys will have a water break. So there'll be a little thing on the screen for about a minute after you finish those exercises. So you can get a quick sip of water and then come back to the lesson. Does that make sense? Awesome, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna go down. Good, and up, like this, okay? Now, every time you go down and up, I want you guys to breathe every time. So when you go down and up, All right, so when you guys are doing squats, we're gonna bend down and come up like this. Bend down and come up like this. Now the last exercise is gonna be a lunge. So you're gonna take one knee and you're gonna bend almost touching the ground, coming up. Then you're gonna do the other side, bending almost touching the ground, coming up.
Awesome job, you guys. You guys did a very good job. High five. Awesome work. Okay, now, uh, what Dojo's doing right now, he's actually looking for his first white belt. It's, he said it's at his house. Do you guys want to go to Dojo's hut and see what he's up to? Awesome. All right, let's go. Hey, Dojo. Say, buddy, what's the matter? Master Kelly, I've lost my white belt. I've been looking everywhere and it's missing. You lost your white belt? How did that happen? It was kept in my family's special treasure chest. But all I found was this weird footprint here. Oh, let's take a look, you guys. Hmm, looks like a strange footprint. Well, I know just the right person who can probably help us solve this mystery. His name is Dr. B. Now, Dr. B, he studies footprints like this one. So in the next lesson, maybe we'll find out who this belongs to. In the meantime, you guys did a fantastic job. Don't forget to fill out the worksheets. There's gonna be two questions on there. Now, if you're between the ages of four and six years old, you're gonna have your own worksheet. If you're somebody between the ages of seven and 12, you're gonna have a separate worksheet. And when you finish those worksheets with your parents, make sure you send me an email, taylor at functionaltaekwondo.com. Again, it's taylor at functionaltaekwondo.com. I'll have a little text right here so you guys can see exactly what that email looks like. You guys did a fantastic job today. I haven't faced your chat yet. Can ya? Awesome. All right. See you guys in the next lesson. Hi, everybody. I'm Master Kelly. Hope you guys have an awesome day today. Now, we are going to be going to Dr. B's house. Now, Dr. B is going to be the person who's going to hopefully tell us about this footprint. Okay, that this mysterious footprint next to the chest where Dojo was keeping his white belt. All right. So let's come along. Come with me, you guys. Awesome. All right. Let's give Dr. B a knock on the door. Hey, Dr. B, it's Master Kelly and Dojo. Welcome, friends. What can I do for you today? We want to know if you guys can look at a footprint that we have. Can you look at it for us? Awesome. All right, guys, let's go inside. All right, Dr. B, so let's go ahead and show you the footprint. All right, what do you think this is, or who is it? Do you know? Hmm, I'm so sorry. Let me put this into my spanner. This should take about 20 minutes to complete. So why don't you all come back later? Huh. Okay. Well, easy for us, you guys. That's just enough time for us to learn a new lesson. Okay, so while Dr. B is analyzing that, let's go head back to the dojo. Awesome. All right, guys. So in the last lesson, we were learning how to do punches and kicks. We did a jab cross hook and we did a front kick. In today's lesson, we're going to practice throwing a double combination. So what that means is that when I have my hands up here, Instead of throwing one jab, we're gonna go one, two. We're gonna throw two jabs. Does that make sense? So let's try it together. Hands up like this. All right, let's go double jab. Everyone say it with me. Everyone say double jab. Awesome, good, double jab. Good, double jab. Awesome, good. Now, when we do a double jab, make sure the right hand's on the face and we have one foot back. So when it gets to looking down at my feet, make sure you have one foot in front and the other back. We don't want to stand like this. We only have one foot back like this. Okay, hands up like this, fighting stance. All right, let's do it together. Everyone say double jab. Good, double jab. Good, double jab. Awesome job, you guys. Now we're gonna do a double cross. So we're gonna go cross two times like this. Does that make sense? All right, let's try it. Ready, double cross. Awesome, good. Ready, double cross. Good, good job, you guys. Double cross. Good, good, two more, double cross. Good, one more, double cross. Awesome, good job you guys, high fives. Awesome, all right, we're gonna play a little game today. Okay, so here's the game. All right, so this game is called the Switch Game. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to clap the paddle, and I want you guys to do this. When I clap it, you're gonna be in a fighting stance, and you're going to switch your feet to the other side. Now here's the rule. You only switch when I clap the paddle. If I don't clap the paddle, but say switch, you can't switch. You gotta listen for the paddle clap. So for example, okay, so if I'm in fighting stance here, I say switch, I clap it, right? Switch. But if I say switch, if I don't clap it, don't move your feet. Does that make sense? You guys see yes, sir? Awesome, all right, let's try the game. Right, hands up fighting stance. All right, ready, everyone together, switch. Good, switch. Good, switch. Oh, make sure I don't catch you next time, ready? And switch, good, switch, 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 
switch. Okay, make sure I don't catch you. Some of you guys got caught. Don't let it happen. For the guys that, that didn't get caught, good job, good focus, ready. Can you switch real quick? Switch real quick. Hey, why'd you switch? Don't switch yet, ready, switch. Good, switch. Good, switch, 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 switch. Awesome, good job you guys, high five. Very, very good work, awesome, all right. Here's what we're gonna do next, everyone shuddy yet? Good, awesome, now, when we're in shuddy position, we're gonna be super, super still, not moving, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna talk about today. I want you guys to go ahead and sit down, crisscross, hands on your knees, just like this. Awesome, you guys, okay. So, here's what we're gonna talk about today. Before we continue the lesson, we're gonna talk about something really important in martial arts, okay? Now, that thing that we're gonna talk about is how to control your breathing, okay? When you guys get tired, when you do exercises, sometimes our breathing goes a little crazy. We go like, ah, ah, ah. we start breathing a little too much. Now, here's the thing, breathing is good. It gives you oxygen, gives you energy. However, if you can slow down your breathing, if you can control it, you're actually gonna have more energy and you're gonna last a lot longer, okay? So let's practice deep breathing together, okay? So I'm gonna sit with the tall back and we take your hands, put them on your stomach. Now, when we take a deep breath in, I want you guys to pretend like your stomach's a balloon and the balloon's gonna come in and then when you breathe out, the balloon's gonna go all the way out, okay? So let's try that together. We're gonna breathe in for four seconds and breathe out for seven seconds. Okay, let's try that, ready? Everyone breathe in. Two, three, four, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. Two, three, four, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're gonna practice those breathing exercises. As we do those breathing exercises, we're gonna take our feet and we're gonna hold them in a butterfly stretch like this, okay? And this is a very good stretch to loosen up your hips, okay? Now, as we breathe in, we're gonna keep our back tall. As we breathe out, we're gonna go down as far as you possibly can, okay? Now, if you can get your nose to your toes, that's awesome. Just don't smell your toes, okay? I don't know where they've been. I don't know if they're dirty, but don't smell your toes if you can't help it. Maybe cover your nose, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna breathe in. Two, three, four, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe in. Two, three, four, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more time, breathe in. Two, three, four, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is dojo on my head. Dojo, get off. Stop doing that, buddy. What are you doing? Awesome, silly monkey, awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and stand up really slowly. I'm gonna stand up just like this. Good, shake out your hands, shake out your legs a little bit. Awesome, good, try to yet? Good, all right, I'm gonna be super still. Good, okay, now the next part of the lesson, we're gonna do some exercises again. Now this time, we're gonna do jumping jacks, sit-ups, and burpees, okay? Jumping jacks, sit-ups, and burpees. So let me show you first. So jumping jack, it's like how we warmed up. We're gonna do jumping jacks like this for 30 seconds. When we do sit-ups, we're gonna be on our back, okay? You're gonna bend your knees. Now, if you have a sibling or maybe your parents are watching with you, you can have them help you hold your feet down, okay? Now, when you do a sit-up, okay, we're gonna have our hands behind our head like this, and you're gonna come up and come back down. Coming up, come back down. Now, here's the thing. Some of you guys may not be able to get up all the way. That's okay. Okay, do your very best. This is just as fine. Okay, if you can only go this much, Okay, that's just as fine too, okay? So that's the second exercise. The third one's a burpee. Okay, this one's really fun, okay? I mean, parents might, you might disagree, but it's pretty fun, it's good exercise. All right, so you're gonna jump up, okay? After you jump up, you're gonna go down, kick your feet out. Once you kick your feet out, you come back in, you jump up again, kick your feet out. Over and over, just like that, okay? So we're gonna do 30 seconds each. Each exercise, 15 second rest, do it again, 15 second rest, do it one more time, and then you guys get a minute of water, okay? And then we'll, we'll start our cool down after that. So again, okay, it's going to be uh, jumping jacks, sit-ups, and burpees, 
Okay, awesome. All right, guys, go get started with the lesson. We're gonna do jumping jacks like this for 30 seconds. Now, when you do a sit up, okay, we're gonna have our hands behind our head like this, and you're gonna come up and come back down. Coming up, come back down. Now, here's the thing some of you guys may not be able to get up all the way. That's okay. Okay, do your very best. And you're gonna come up and come back down. Coming up and come back down. All right, so you're gonna jump up, okay? After you jump up, you're gonna go down, kick your feet out. Once you kick your feet out, you come back in, you jump up again, kick your feet out. Over and over, just like that. You jump up again, kick your feet out. Over and over, just like that. Hi everybody, awesome job with the exercises today. Now, did you remember how to breathe properly? Did you remember how to do it? Awesome, okay, good, yeah, make sure when you're exercising, okay, we wanna breathe in and breathe out. We breathe in with our nose and breathe out with our mouth, okay? Now, let's go ahead and back to, back to Dr. B and see if he's got results for us. Maybe we can find out whose footprint it is, okay? All right guys, come with me, let's go. All right, Dr. B, did you find out whose footprint this belongs to? Unfortunately. It looks like the footprint belongs to Count Strawberry. Oh no, Count Strawberry? Well, you guys, something I have to tell you. Count Strawberry is a very, very bad man. He works for an evil scientist named Dr. Fist. Now, I've fought Count Strawberry several times and haven't really been able to beat him. Now, I think with your guys' help, I think we can defeat him together and maybe we can get the white belt back from Dojo. All right guys, now before we get started with the next mission, I wanted to show you guys our interactive map. Awesome, now on this map, you're gonna see all the different places we're gonna go to over the next six weeks, okay? The entire country of Banana Land. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to color in all the different cities, all the different villages that we're gonna be visiting, and I want you guys to send them to me uh, to my email. So you're gonna go taylor at functionaltaekwondo.com. Make sure with your parents' permission, you guys send me those emails so that I can see exactly um, how you guys colored it. I'd actually be really curious to see that, okay? So make sure you color in that, that coloring map, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Chariet, can ye? Awesome, good work everybody. See y'all later. Hi guys, well, 
Looks like we're in the strawberry forest, but I don't see Count Strawberry anywhere. Do you guys see him anywhere? Uh-oh, what was that sound? Oh no. Oh man, somebody's throwing strawberries at us. I'm willing to bet that's Count Strawberry on the other side of the forest. Can you guys help me get to the other side of the forest? Awesome, all right Dojo, come here. All right, so Dojo's gonna be climbing up in the trees and he's just gonna meet us there on the other side. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and go run through this forest and hopefully we'll dodge and jump over all the different strawberries that come at us. You guys ready to start? Can I say yes, sir? Awesome, all right, ready? Let's get started. All right, ready? Everybody duck. Good. Ready, everyone together, jump. Good, good job, you guys. Ready, duck. Good. Ready, jump. Good. Ready, duck. Good job, you guys. Duck. Oh, wait, oh no. I got hit by someone. Ready, and duck. Good, good, ready, and jump. Good, nice, good, keep going. All right, run with me, okay? Run your knees, pick your knees up, run with me. Ready, and duck. Good, good, jump. Good, jump. Good, jump. Good, duck. Good, duck. Good, duck. Good, awesome, good. All right, let's keep going, we're almost there. Ready, and duck. Good, good, jump. Good, duck. Good job, you guys, duck. I think we're almost there, jump. Good, jump. Good, jump. Good, oh, we made it. All right, Dojo. Okay, looks like we're here. You guys see Count Strawberry anywhere? Where, he's here? Oh, I don't see him. Oh, he's here? What? Oh, Count Strawberry. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. This part of the lesson is called a boss battle. So here's what we're going to do. Are we gonna have our hands up like this? Now, whenever Count Strawberry attacks us, we gotta make sure we move out of the way. So we're gonna learn a new move, and we'll say up gin, okay? So I'm gonna have the words on top of the screen so you guys can see. I'm gonna say up gin, okay? Now up gin, okay, means forward movement. So when I say up gin, we come forward. When I say hu gin, hu gin means back. So hu gin's up at the top, we're gonna go back. Just like this, okay? Now every time Count Strawberry tries to attack us, okay, we're gonna hoosian back, and then we're gonna throw a jab, cross, hook, front kick, right back at him. So all four of those moves, does that make sense? Awesome. All right, Count Strawberry, where is Dojo's white belt? I don't know what it is. I sold it for delicious strawberries. <laughs> Where is Dojo's white belt? I think I'll tell you. Never. Hmm. The chicken man told me to keep it a secret. I mean, no, 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 I did not say that. Well, wait, wait, what? You gave it to the chicken man? No, no, I did not say that. <laughs> well, looks like that's where we need to go, but first we gotta deal with Count Strawberry. Have a hands up, buddy, chance. You will not escape from me, I will not allow it. Awesome, all right, ready? Evan, get ready to hoosh in, ready, hoosh in. Good jab, cross, oh, hook, oh, front kick. Oh. Awesome, good job you guys. All right, he's gonna attack us again. We gotta hoosh in back, hoosh in. Jab, cross, oh, hook, oh, front kick. Oh. Awesome, good job you guys. Ready, again, we're gonna go back. Ready, hoosh in, jab, cross, oh, hook, oh, front kick. Oh. Awesome, good job you guys, awesome. Oh, he's gonna throw a lot of different attacks at us. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta make sure we hoosh in back, okay? And then after we hoosh in back, we're going to duck. Okay, so we're gonna hoosh and back and duck. Okay, everyone go ahead and hoosh and back. Duck. Lie. Awesome, good job you guys again. Together, hoosh and back. Duck. Lie. Awesome job you guys again. One more time, ready, hoosh and back. Duck. Lie. Awesome, all right, now we're gonna practice something called the finisher, it's a finishing move. So here's what I want you guys to do. I'm gonna charge up my hand just like this. It's gonna create some energy. Now in order to create this energy, I want you guys in Dojo to do burpees. Okay, when you guys do burpees, is gonna make my hand get charged. So again, a burpee is when you jump up and you kick your feet back, right? I want you guys to do that over and over until this is fully charged. You guys do that with me? Awesome, all right, ready. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice, very good job, oh. you guys have five. Awesome. All right, Count Strawberry. 
Where can we find the chicken man? No, no. What will Dr. Fist hmm. do to me? Okay. What's that noise? Oh. No. Uh, I don't know what happened to him, but let's hope we don't get sucked into there too. Okay? You guys did a fantastic job. Help, thank you for helping me defeat Count Strawberry. Give me a five. Awesome, Dojo high five. Awesome, good work you guys. All right, now for the next mission, we're gonna be heading over to the chicken man's land. Okay, now before we do that though, make sure you guys, make sure you drink plenty of water, make sure you practice stretching, and then next week we're gonna learn some more moves so that way, if we have to face the chicken man, we'll be more prepared, okay? Very good job you guys, I'm face here, try to yet? Can ya? Awesome, see you guys later, bye-bye.